President Trump's budget cut major federal funding to restore the Chesapeake, but Congress had other ideas. Alex Dimitrik reports a compromise has put all the money back. You have to get below the surface of the Chesapeake to see the improvements. The highest female crab population in decades. Oysters planted in sanctuaries, reproducing on their own, and maybe developing resistance to diseases. Underwater grasses spreading throughout the bay. Good indicator that pollution loads are going down. These grasses need clean water to flourish. So when President Trump cut $73 million from bay restoration, we're going to fight and do everything we can to make sure that those funds are maintained. And in a compromise on the spending budget, Congress restored the $73 million. We're very happy to see the funds put back into the budget. Uh, they're, they're really critical to the Bay and protecting it. The money will keep the EPA's Chesapeake Bay program running, funding efforts by six states to restore habitat that slows pollution by creating natural buffers between the land and water. It also monitors 150 rivers and streams flowing into the Bay that can carry nutrients that feed algae blooms, creating dead zones. The dead zone, the, in the summer dead zone, is actually shrinking over time. Unlike a lot of other federal projects, helping the Bay crossed party lines. We've got our Republican and Democratic congressional leaders uh, voting to put this money back and supporting the restoration of the Bay. Alex Dimitrik, WJZ Eyewitness News. Funding for the Bay remains in place until September when the fiscal year expires and a new budget must be hammered out.